Welcome back. Welcome back. Different kind of video. We don't normally do these anymore, but we're if doing you're it. an OG fan, then you know what you're looking at. Hey, yeah. let's let's clap it up. Let's clap it up for one year. Yeah, it's about a year, like two days ago. 11, 11, 11. 11 baby. Yeah, but yeah, so we're doing NBA this or that, which is basically a would you rather? Would you want this or you want that? So gonna do nine of them, and then. We're going to clip them up into shorts. If you're seeing it there, check out the full video. But NBA, this or that. We're going to go with the young guys first. Rookie of the year race. Wemby versus Chet. Who would you rather have? Chet. I think Chet's more polished, but I'd rather have Wemby. Chet's a dog. Chet's a dog, dude. Chet sold our Cavs uh, money line lay the other day with that put back dunk. That was the dagger. Yeah. Um, Chet's tough, bro. I know. It's tough. very tough. It's very tough. Uh, you got to give me Wemby. I think once he adjusts more to NBA basketball, it's going to be tough to contain him. And if he can I, consistently stay healthy. I think Chet's more durable than him. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, what Do y'all think – uh, MB gets the MVP without Harden last season. Yeah, you think so? Over Joker. Yeah, they're not giving out three Peters anymore, dude. I've heard otherwise that without James Harden, Joel and B, you know, isn't the MVP. And let's just let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. How but have we got to this? Pertain to look, listen. So I think. I think that goes for the same situation for for Chet, you know, in regards to overall style of play and overall efficiency towards team to get rookie of the year. You have to perform on a multitude of levels on offense and defense. And I think that Chet, because of Giddy, you know, may have more opportunity for his style of play to flourish than what Wimby does just because uh, you don't really have uh, an elite facilitator. I thought we were doing who's better. That's what I'm saying. I think Chet could ultimately be better just because of his positioning with his teammates, you know, being a, you know, have being a big man, being a center and having a point guard like Josh Giddy is going to help him evolve to be rookie of the year type. What about your boy on the Spurs? I mean, Vassell is their, their two guard. Ooh. They got Kelton Johnson at the point well, or so not Kelton Johnson. They got Jim, uh, they got Jeremy Sohan at the point. And uh, I don't think so. Like Sohan's a great player. I just don't think that he is on the same level as Josh Giddy. Whoa, slow down, gang. If you're liking this content here, I really appreciate it. If you'd like, comment, and subscribe, it's free. It takes zero seconds. I make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to all the creators I like watching because I know it makes a huge difference for them, just like it makes for us. Stick with us, TOT Faithful. We love you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out more videos. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, I'd go Wemby. I think it's close. I just think that Wemby, the difference between them is where Chet is. They're all they'll attack Chet. Guys just don't even shoot when yeah. Wemby's near. I think that's really the difference. But great shout. Um, let's move to another young group. Uh, Paolo or Cade? Who was the last Jeez. number one pick? This Love is them, tough. Bro. They're the same player, bro. This is tough. I'd take Cade. I'd take Cade. I'll take Cade. I've Cade seen one too many, I've seen one too many clips of him cooking in a gym in the summer. Give me Paulo. I think Paulo is – like he's proved it more. This is Cade's third year, I believe, right? Third. Um, he missed all of his second year basically. But Paulo's just – got it. This also, is This is going to be Cade's – Breakout season, and you got to think he didn't really play last season. So you know, some years he's been injured. You know, this being, this being, you know, starting this season, him being healthy, and uh, he's playing really well. And uh, I just I like his overall style of play. I think that he has a a a certain IQ that's like precise. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Chris Paul, especially because of his pace. You know, kind of slow. Kind of like, you're not going to control me. You're not going to speed me up. You're not going to slow me down. And always keeps his head up looking for his teammates. And uh, I, I really like K's game. And I like P5, but uh, I'll take K. 
All right, moving on to the next one. Another young group. Um, we got Tyrese Halliburton or Trey Young. That's not it, bro. This is boo. I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll go. We know what you're gonna say. I like this, bro. We know what you're gonna say, and I'll fight both of y'all. You're not gonna like this, bro. I like Trey's game, but now you want to go first? Yeah, give me Halliburton. He does everything Trey Young does better. Sorry. Dick suckers. He gets stats better, scores better. Does he lead better? No. I don't know. The Pacers are in the top four seeds right now. <laughs> the Pacers are not better than the Atlanta Hawks. Never on any day. Give me Trey Young. Ice traded game. And congratulations. Just had another baby. Shout out to Trey Young. I'm going to go Tyrese because we're a Tyrese Pro Pod. We are. We are. He's a friend of the program, Slim. I, I mean, and I'll rock with Reese. No diss to Reese, but I think him and Trey, Trey are two different is. categories. I would, I wouldn't put them. I wouldn't put them. I would have. They actually play very similar. They're definitely in the same. Slim's like you're dick eating. Didn't didn't Tyrese didn't Tyrese didn't Tyrese just do something ridiculous the other day? Yeah, like seventeen what, assists with zero turnovers. When have we ever seen Trey Young do that? Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy to me, bro. He's bro, definitely done it like ten we times. Said, but. We said this last year. We said this last year. He's Magic Johnson. Yeah, I, I love Tyrese. I really do. Y'all know how I feel. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Next one. This is a little six man of the year race here. We got uh, Karis Levert or Manuel Quickly. Who you want as your six man? Boo, bro. You can't put them two players. I think those are good comps. The great comps. Six man of the year race. I, I think Karis, bro. Karis has, been, Karis has been defending the other team's best player well. Man, IQ something serious. I'm, I'm gonna go with quick. Give me cares. Um, Qu- me look, you ready? You ready? When I think quick, I think Maxi. Me too. That's why I say cares ain't like that. Quick got that engine like Maxi that's gonna go out there, go get it. Same, same build, same engine. You got that speed level of speed quickly. I you feel like quickly is going to be way more dangerous than uh, than this Karis LeVert has already been in his career. You know, so this is why this quick. segment is so beautiful. We just these are great bats. Karis is just defends one of the the best player on the other player on the other team while also giving you eighteen. It's quick's I'll tough though. I'll would you trade? Would you trade Karis for quick right now? No, not in a second. I might not do that either because he's just a great defensive tool. Y'all are tripping. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, we got Jaron. J- this is very the two ends of the spectrum. But would you rather have Jaron Jackson Jr. or Carl Anthony Towns? Jaron Jackson Jr. Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah, dog. Jaren I think Cat, bro. Cat's got to figure out what his real voice is. That's his main concern. He got to stop hoop. Worry about hoop. Yeah. Um, if you can stop, if you can take a trip inside the three point line once in a while, you might be able to get up on the he could be so dominant i've i've heard players who played against him in practice be like i've never seen anything like him so well so let's see let's see in between the lines bud yeah um next one this is a big debate from uh the hometown but uh tyrese maxi or Derek white this is a flaming debate from the hometown shouts out the gang um i feel like the answer is pretty obvious but that it's on here for that reason I think maybe last season I may have answered differently. This season, I think I'd say Ty- I'd say not Tyrese, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, Max. Tyrese. Tyrese Max. Tyrese Max. I was thinking Halbert. Oh, I got it fucked up. Uh, Maxi. And last year I was pro Derek White. I mean, he just does a lot more, but Maxi just fucking fills it up. I'm taking Max every day of the week. Unexplanatory. But on your team, though, now that I'm thinking about it, would you rather have? It depends what kind of team you have. Jimmy sure. Max. You already have two stars, and you, I, I still would probably take Maxi. <laughs> but I might go Derek White on that, dude. That's wild. Nah, I'm gonna go Derek White. I think you're a little bit ridiculous, man. I think there's a discussion to be had about that. Okay, that's fine. Damn. Um, Matt, he said you a bitch. That's what I heard. <laughs> never, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, two of the guys fighting for a top five spot in, in TOT's opinion: Anthony Edwards or Luka Doncic. Anthony Edwards. And 
I'm gonna no stick question. Up here. Bro, we didn't even go. We're, that's how we're ten toes down on Anselm. We might be leading the charge. For I, sure. dude, I love Anthony Edwards. He's in my top five favorite players. But shout bro, out he's, different. he's different. Luca he's different. is he's different. He's different. Luca is different. shout out to ATO and uh Go Dogs. Uh, did we talk about the blowout, Matt? I think we did, man. Shout out to the dogs. Go, go, go. But no, nah, I'm gonna go Luca. I just like, Luca plays you like have Luca on your so. team tomorrow than Ant. Luca or Ant? Yeah, I take Luca. Not me. You're a tripper. I dude, I love Ant. It pains me to say this. It really does. But doesn't sound like it. Luca, huh? Doesn't sound like it. Luca just it hoops don't. like me for real. So mm-hmm. maybe a little I can't do what Anthony Edwards maybe does. The left corner, a little bias over there. Maybe, maybe. Um, this is the last one. We got De'Aaron Fox or Ja Morant. Fox. Ooh, give me Swiper. I love Swiper. This this is great. This is my favorite so far. I'm I'm excited to see Jaws' potential. I'm uh, I want him to step into the league, knowing what he's capable of and being able to really lead the charge. and And he's gonna have a task this season by having to do that because his team is not good right now. So uh, hopefully he can step it up. But Swipe is that guy. Yeah, I I, I love Jaw too. I'd go De'Aaron. Um, I think he's got more complete game right now. He may, I, he may I, be I the first one. Back he, the court. he may be the first one to climb Mount Wembenyama. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna be the one that punches on him bad. Ja? Yeah. I hope so. It'd be great. But hey, that's NBA. Would you rather NBA this or that? Whatever you Dinwiddie want. Dinwiddie is fucking trash. So, is. Honestly, you can click on any of our videos and it'll be in there at some point. <laughs> I was just watching. But, my fault. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Check out the shorts, check out the community tab. We're posting every single one of these on there, so we want to know your opinion. But like, comment, subscribe. See you guys soon.